It's a time for a new handheld from Kani. It's a product from China. I think I will do that. I can freaking say that all the freaking time. Product from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the MI2 One XL. Yeah, it's the XL edition from the previous video that I made from the handheld from Kony. Yeah, so I purchased the second one. It was a bigger version, the XL version. And uh, yeah, I really love handhelds and I just needed to check this out. So let's take a close look at the handheld, what you can do with it. Because I think these things are pretty wicked. All right, so the MI2, and this is just the bigger edition. The previous model was with one of the five games, including some licensed games like Lingo. And this version comes with 100 built-in games, mostly on unofficial clones or popular titles. Or they are looking like popular titles, I'll show you later in this video. So basically, they were launched with the promise for extra games that you can download for free from the internet, but wasn't until September 2010. Alright, so these handhelds are based on the MIPS CPU. Uh, they have around 60 gigabyte internal storage and you can upgrade it if you want to win a 60 gigabyte CF card. But nevertheless, this game system has a touch display like in Nintendo DS. And also in this video, I just wanted to check out how good and how responsive this is. A lot of different kind and weird games. But if you were curious, how are these classic games? Sometimes we find these handhelds and thinking, hey, this can be very interesting to make a review here on the channel. Just to force fun and just to show you what's out there. So the MI2 One XL, this thing has one big gigantic display. The D-pad itself, I can say that these handhelds are a completely different quality when you're looking at the time area of the other Chinese versions. And X, the AB and X and Y feel quite nice. I'm having here the menu button, microphone, the indication for the charge and the battery. We're having a front-facing camera and also we're having a camera here at the back. When you're looking at the previous model, only having a back camera that was not even a one megapixel. So yeah, to be honest guys, it's just a very cheap thing. So another fun fact is that you're having this stand. You can just display it like this. <laughs> quite funny, never seen it before on a handheld. So there are quite some awesome features in my opinion. Then we're having the stylus over here. There's even a nice metal version. <laughs> and we can even extend it a little bit. Quite interesting in my opinion. I've never seen things like this with a Chinese handheld. Oh, and now it's going to fall out. But nevertheless, a headphone jack. We're having an input for the power adapter and of course a normal USB for charging. We're having two shoulder buttons that are very clickish. I don't like these shoulder buttons coming up because they're just very hard to reach. So, and overall, this is what you're going to get with the handheld. So let's power it on. We're having the slider like the PSP. All right, so let's boot it up and let's see what we're going to get. So the device itself has quite some different versions, more like a normal version I've shown you before. And it's quite interesting what they have created back in the day. So we're going to play some games, some classic games. There are some education games on it. Here we have the camera, via recording. You can download app through the internet. Well, it does work on my finger, so that is not really bad. Okay, so here, no games currently downloaded. Please visit the my2shop.nl. So here in the Netherlands you can basically do this, go back, you can also navigate with the D-pad if you want to. So let's start up the games, we're having, ah here we have the D-pad games, touch, sensitive, okay art, and the classic games. So I must say the graphics doesn't look that bad. This is similar like the... Ooh, this is just freaking a rip-off game for like Urban Strike, Jungle Strike, Nuclear Strike, you know, I think people are familiar with those classic games, so oh, indeed. Oh crap. Oh crap, I just killed a guy. Damn it. Come on board, come on board. Come boy, come boy. Huh, it looks kind of funny. This button doesn't do anything, whatever. Let's go back to the menu, quit game, yes. Doing all this thing is pretty poor, man. Don't shoot me in the back, pussy. The animation not bad at all. Ooh, look at me. I'm getting this contra feeling playing like this. Ta ta na na ta 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 na na ta ta na na ta ta na na ta. 
What is this? Ah, oh, elf. Ooh, I got a machine gun out. Okay, wait a sec, wait. So I just walk by this pillar, and after someone, this guy appears. What the hell is going on with this freaking game? I don't make the salt anymore because I'm using the machine gun. No contra. And just keep, keep walking. But yeah, this is what you're going to get with this classic Contra ripoff Mission Impossible. What the hell is going on with this game? Okay, looking at this game, I get the feeling more like Crusader No Remorse, um, Diablo version. Ooh, nice. Come here. So I really love to have an analog stick for this game. So I must say that these homebrew slash action classic whatever games are pretty fun to play. They are, oh no, let's say the gameplay itself is pretty basic, but... Oh yeah! Alright, so time for him to shoot him up. The D-pad itself is not the best D-pad I've played. Oh man, it doesn't feel bad when it, you touch it, but oh boy. I'm missing an analog stick on this thing. It should remove this button to put an analog stick on it. But this is just another basic shoot em up. There's not a lot of in-depth in these games, just, just basic classic games. And yeah, you're thinking, hey, but the classic games are basic. Yeah, I know, but more like, if you're looking at the gameplay, even some of these classic games back in the day had more depth in the gameplay than this. So what is this game called Pirates? Oh, this is more like a puzzle game, or what? Yeah, it's more like a puzzle game. Ah. Okay, so let's try a touch game. It's more like a code. This game was called Rocket Guy, what the hell? So I'm curious now, what kind of touch game are we going to get? Because... Yeah, continue. No! They freaking did it! <laughs> Oh my god, they ripped it off! <laughs> they ripped They ripped my one of my favorite Android games. Okay, let's play again. Can I use oh I can just it's a touch game and I can use the button. Alright. Let's see how far we can come with this. So for people not familiar with it, it is this game on Android and Apple where you can or iOS where you can play this rocket guy endless loop game. Pretty cool, really addictive. And I love that game. I played it for so many hours. And they just made a rip off. This thing doesn't even look that great compared with the original game, but... And why do I feel that this is just a really easy game? Oh, he also... Oh, and the, the same laser with the same sound. Alright, so let's try another game. Yeah, Bejeweled, big time. Uh, the touch screen is okay, but... I think I can get ready to use my thumb or my finger, that works way better, let's see. Nope, nope, doesn't work at all. Nope, nope, doesn't work at all. So you can see that the touch screen of this device is pretty poor. It's nothing to be compared, compared with, for example, the... Yeah, the, the Nintendo DS back in the day. Because this was a really budget device, or budget. I think they were retailing for around 99 euro at the beginning and then they, they just give them discount or 50% after some time. But as you can see, all the touch games are based on real uh, Android games or iOS games. Okay, so you must understand these handles were released back in the day when the Nintendo DS was out. And tablets were pretty expensive, so there was not a lot of great options when it comes to tablets. Nowadays we're having just cheap tablets for 100 euros are pretty good and we can play a lot of great games with. So yeah, the MI2 XL, I think this thing is pretty cool, a lot of, gr I think all the features that it comes with is pretty cool and it feels kind of, kind of deluxe in my opinion. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this, did you ever play something like this, like this and cunny handheld. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell and I will see you in the next video.